My name is Junior Ngosi. I'm from Nelspreit. The main challenge which brought me to Charis is my lower back problem, which troubled me so much. Uh, it started bit by bit and it continued to progress to an extent that uh, it made me not to be able to go to work as I supposed to be. I'm always sick, I'm always absent from work. That's the main thing which brought me here because I could see that this bag want to put me down, to cripple me permanently. And uh, I went everywhere seeking for solution, but I could not get one. And I told myself that I have never been to Charis and I want to believe that this is my last stop, bus stop, I will be free from all the sicknesses and diseases that afflicted my life. Oh, this problem is very long. I'm sure it's, when it started, it was early 2008 or nine. And But I could still cope, you know, it could come and go, come and go, until since I'm sure two, three years back, where it was just progressing without stopping, without going back. And uh, I was told by the doctor that in the near future, I will be bedridden because of this problem. And he told me, the doctor told me that I've got a pelvic arthritis, which has already started uh, degenerating my lower uh, spinal bones of which is what I was experiencing now late because I could not stand for maybe 10 minutes in my kitchen. It will be so sore f and I will continue with difficulty until I cannot continue with what I am doing. Standing or sitting, it's a problem. And, you know, I was on drugs, a lot of drugs for pains, spending sleepless nights because of this back. At some stage in the middle of the night, I will even fail to turn to the other side or to lie with my back or my abdomen. You know, I will find myself confused, not knowing exactly how much I sleep because all the sides are not allowing me to sleep. This is a, 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 a waist brace which I was given by the doctor. Because, you know, as this pain was continuing, I could feel that I need support. Sometimes I would try to support my back with my, my hands and support my abdomen also. And the doctor said it's best for me to get this to at least help me support my back. But using it really, it wasn't a help as such because I could still continue experiencing the pain I was experiencing even before I used it. Though I knew it is not to relieve my pain, it was just to give support, but it was not supporting me that much. I, I told myself, I, in fact, I was like communicating with God that, you know, God, I tried throughout my life, I was battling because of sicknesses and diseases. I tried everything reaching men of God, I believed you anointed them, but I remain my, uh, the same. Though I can see things happening to other people, now I'm going to Charis, I'm going to see men of God, Apostle Makananisa. This is the last place I will ever go. After this, I believe my life will never be the same. This is what I told myself, that if I come here, I don't receive anything. I don't think I will ever go anywhere. I will say, uh, let your will be done about me. Uh, the man of God asked uh, my name and said, who's Junior? And then I raised up my hand. And then he said, yeah, um, he is seeing me with a problem which soon they will tell me that I've got arthritis. And I told him they have already said so. And he said, yes, this is an attack. They want to destroy 
your marriage and he asked me where's my husband and i said he is outside he said yes the aim of all what is happening to me with this problem my waist and my legs is to destroy the marriage because in my family there is a problem a uh, marriage is scarce in my family of which it's true it's really true because i also got married when i was already grown up and i believe so because in my family there's no marriage altogether and he said it's because of that you now went and got married they don't want that and another thing he said god want to use me to pray for people and then god keeps me awake and he want me to be awake and pray but me i don't do that and i want to confirm that it's true i am using a uh, sleeping tablets as i speak to an extent that sometimes they don't even work for me because i can't sleep i'm just a person who cannot sleep and i'm worried about it but why and now i am clear that god want to keep me awake to pray i didn't know i didn't really know uh, but today i know and i understand that god want to use me the only thing i was aware of is that i like sharing the word of god at my working place every morning i am opening a bible and preaching the word of god to my colleagues and my patients i thought it's just you know something i never took it it's so serious that god might be wanting to use me many people will tell me no you must go to the bible school and stuff and then i said no it's not like that god never said so to me what what i know I, i'm just having this feeling to share the word of god to 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 always tell people about god but now i got the truth i really didn't know and I, i'm thankful for that though um uh, ma who the pastor's wife in my church keeps on telling me those sicknesses you are experiencing are not yours maybe they are the sicknesses of other people but i you know i wanted confirmation i really wanted confirmation and now i'm clear that apostle makananisa explained this to me and he he promised that he's going to pray for me i will be healed and uh, i cannot do anything for now that i'm still having these sicknesses but i will be healed and god will use me and he even he, he even uh, spoke about another lady who was not in our group and asked someone to go and call somebody from the group who was far from us to say there is somebody who is from namibia from that place when he is speaking to he was speaking to me at that time he could see the problem that i'm having is the same problem that lady is having that god want to use us and that lady was called the man of god asked me to go and stand but even before he asked me to go and stand so that he can pray for me i i was feeling you know uneasy i was trying to stand up but I, i felt i there is something happening to me and ashas were already there to to hold me and he just prayed for me when he was seated there and i fell down come on get out Demon. What are you doing to my mom? Monday. Huh? Look at it. Huh? What are you doing? Monday. Huh? Hi. 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 Out. Amen. Do you want? 
No, after he said I was, I'm free, I started glorifying God. I was really excited. I was jumping. I was testing myself and I felt, you know, things I could not do before. I was able to do. And I was just happy that finally, the day that I waited for, for so long, finally came to pass. Just walking. It, it was difficult. But now I can, you know, I can walk freely without any, any pain. Even if I'm standing, I could feel that I've got pains. Bending, it was not something which I could do so easily. I could not bend sideways, backwards. But as I'm speaking, I'm really feeling good. I, I, I believe I'm healed, I'm delivered. In Jesus' name. What I, I can say is to God, I'm, I'm thanking him so much uh, for what he did to my life today. Uh, I, I knew that God loved me so much. I even knew that irrespective of what I was going through, that did not mean God does not love me. What I also knew was that I only need an anointed man of God whom God has assigned for my life because I believe everyone has got a man of God specifically God assigned for him. Lucky enough for me today, Apostle Makananisa was assigned for my deliverance and my healing. And I'm happy about it. I praise him. I worship him and I'm intending to continue praying like he explained to me that when I find myself unable to sleep, God wants me to wake up and, and pray. If ever God would want me to pray throughout the night, this is what I'm going to do. Because now I know the truth that God is with me and he wants to use me. And to God also I can say I am available. I avail myself for God to utilize me as much as he can. And I will still come to Cherries because I know and I believe I need uh, Apostle Makananisa for his impartation, for me to continue doing the word of God without being disturbed by anything. And I will always rely on the coverage from uh, Apostle Makananisa where I got my deliverance. My sister, you know, this thing was just a burden to me, but I had no choice to use it. I didn't like it even before. When I remember very well, I was told a long time ago to use this thing, but I refused. But when I had no choice, I had to use it. So I don't want it anymore. That is why 
when I was asked, where is that thing come with it? I thought I was supposed to put it on my body again. And I felt, no, I can't do that. I don't need it anymore because I'm healed, I'm delivered, I'm cured. And I thank God for this miracle. Amen. The encouragement I can give to people who are undergoing, you know, maybe similar problems to what I'm, I was experiencing is that, you know, it's not yet over if God has never said so. Continue to focus at the cross and continue to seek for his mercy and his glory through uh, the anointed men of God like Apostle Makananisa, they will get their freedom. Because even myself, I never thought and I never knew that I will ever get my freedom. I even thought this is the sickness which will take me to my grave. Not knowing that the day like today will come where I will celebrate my freedom of wearing these heavy things on my my, 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 my waist. Now I am free. I will glorify my God freely without pains, without any things around my waist and stuff, without taking a lot of uh, drugs to easy my, the sicknesses and the pains I'm experiencing in my body. I thank God for that.